হ্যালো গাইস ওয়েলকাম ব্যাক টু মাই ইউটিউব চ্যানেল নিকুমণি ডেকা ইংলিশ টুডে আই এম গোয়িং টু টেল অ্যাবাউট দ্য টপিক অফ টিচিং অ্যাপটিটিউড ইন দিস ভিডিও আই এম গোয়িং টু টেল অ্যাবাউট দ্য ডেফিনেশন অফ টিচিং অ্যাপটিটিউড কনসেপ্ট অফ টিচিং নেচার অফ টিচিং ক্যারেক্টারিস্টিক্স অফ টিচিং অ্যান্ড অবজেকটিভস অফ টিচিং so let's start the video with this positive quote just because you aren't making progress as fast as you think you should doesn't mean you aren't making progress so keep going first we will know what is teaching what is aptitude and what is teaching aptitude According to Smith, teaching is an organized system of specific activities aimed to help the learner to learn something. So according to Smith, teaching is an organized system which aims to help the learner so that they can learn something. Aptitude is natural ability to do something. When we want to do something, we should have some kind of ability so that we, uh, we can do that. do that thing so teaching aptitude is the natural ability to teach so when we are going to teach we should have that kind of ability is so that uh, we can teach and which are required in teaching according to dr apj abdul kalam educationist should build the capacities of the spirit of inquiry creativity entrepreneurial and moral relationship among the students and become their role model in teaching there are two types of concept traditional concept and modern concept in the traditional concept teaching is the act of imparting instructions to the learners in the classroom situations in traditional classroom teaching the teacher gives information to the students and the teacher asks one of the students to read from a textbook while the other students silently follow him and the students are expected to study and memorize the assignment whatever the assignment is going to give by the teacher in the modern concept teaching is to coach the people to learn and acquire the desired knowledge skills and also desirable ways of living in the society and it is a process in which learner teacher curriculum and other variables are organized in a systematic and psychological way to attain some predetermined goals the nature of teaching teaching is a social and cultural process which is planned in order to enable an individual to learn something in his life teaching is not a fundamental concept because it is greatly influenced by social and human factors which are dynamic in themselves characteristics of teaching the main character of teaching to provide guidance and training the teacher should provide guidance and training to the students in teaching teaching is an interaction between teacher and students so teaching is an interaction session where student can ask any questions to the teacher teaching is an art to give knowledge to students with effective way so teaching is an art where teacher give information and knowledge to the students with effective way teaching is a chance to educate fact and causes of different topics of different subject so teacher should educate the student about the fact and the causes of different topics of different subject teaching is a continuous process teaching is continuous teaching doesn't have any end teacher can teach effectively if he has full confidence on the subject so in teach, teaching teacher should have full confidence on his subject so that he can teach the student properly and effectively teaching encourages students to learn more and more in teaching teacher should encourage the student to learn more and more teaching is formal as well as informal 
there are two types of teaching these are formal and informal in teaching teacher imparts information in interesting way so that students can easily understand the information so in teaching teacher should impart the information in interesting way so that the students should have the interest on the topic and he can uh, easily understand the information teaching is tool to help student to adjust himself in society and its environment so teaching is a tool it takes place in a dynamic environment and teaching is a social service objectives of teaching number 1 to bring desired changes in pupils to to shape behavior and conduct three acquisition of knowledge four to improve the learning skills of students five formation of belief six to provide a social and efficient member to the society there are three levels in teaching memory level thoughtless teaching understanding level thoughtful teaching reflective level more thoughtful teaching memory level is the first and thoughtless level of teaching it is concerned with memory or mental ability that exist in all living beings in uh, in the memory level of teaching the thinking ability does not play any role in memory level teachers should impart their knowledge and information to the learner in memory level knowledge or information gained by the learner is factual in nature and it is acquired through memorization or rote learning at this level the student learns to identify recall or remembers the objects events ideas and retain them in memory in memory level teaching is subject centered and in this level teacher should taught simple things to the students so that they can be memorized easily understanding level is the second level of teaching the teaching at the understanding level is of higher quality than the one of at the memory level teaching understanding level is more useful and thoughtful in this understanding level teacher explain the uh, explain pupils about the uh, uh, relationship between principles and facts it also lets students know where these principles are applicable in this level teacher tries to present his instructions and the teacher makes the students understand the generalization principles and facts and in this level teacher tries to provide more and more opportunities to develop intellectual behaviors of the pupils in this levels teacher used some methods these are lecture method lecture cam demonstration discussion inductive and deductive exemplification and explanation understanding level is more likely and encouraging as compared to that of memory level teaching in this level learners are actively actively engaged in the learning process and they make the classroom environment positive and enjoyable reflective level is the last level of teaching reflective level is also known as introspective level reflective level of teaching is considered to be the highest level of teaching this level is highly thoughtful and useful at the reflective level teaching enables the students to solve the prob- real problems of life at this level the student is made to face a real problematic situation the student by understanding the situation and using his critical abilities succeeds in solving the problem at this level students developed their original thinking and creative abilities the role of the teacher at this level is democratic 
he does not force force knowledge on the students but develops in their talents and capabilities the role of the student in this level is quite active reflective level of teaching is problem centered and the student is busy in original imagination If you like my video then please do like comment and share and also subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon for the early notifications of my video thank you